Good afternoon. My name is Greg Yawakia, Administrator for One Nation Tribal Alliance and Administrator for YouTube channel One Nation Tribal Alliance Teaching and Understanding. Today, I just want to reach out to you and talk to you all about, I guess, continuing talking about about our mind, body, and spirit, you know, because, you know, I have been going around different places like Walmart or grocery store at Walmart, you know. But anyway, we be going around different places and, you know, my spirit feels a lot of darkness out there. My spirit also is all charged up, revved up to where when I do encounter one, they jump on me. They try to scare me, but they're losing a losing battle because, first of all, I'm not scared of the dark. I know how to deal with it. And if my vibration is high enough to where they get annoyed by my vibration being so high, and they don't like that, that's their problem, not mine. Because constantly, I am, you know, continually worshiping my father, recognizing he is my father, that I'm his vessel, and that I'm here to spread the love, mercy, and peace on Mother Earth. So that's the reason why I came, you know, to Mother Earth to uh, spread love, mercy, and peace. And I think by the time... I, you know, got trained and fully awakened of what is going on in this world. It wasn't as bad because that was back in, I'm going to say, 1978, 79, you know, or 68. Started at 68 when I started my training. But 10 years later, when I got completely trained and everything, I was already out on my own back in 1979 and that's when my journey really really started because I went out into the 3D world where I had to get a job but I worked hard to where I showed to the people that a hard working man as my daddy always tell me that as long as you know how to work you'll always have a dollar in your wallet so I was never afraid of work. I don't care what kind of work they gave me. I did it. I've rode on the back of the dump truck or yeah, trash truck. I've dig ditches. I have poured concrete, but that didn't stop me. I didn't say, oh, I can't get my feet dirty. I can't get my hands. I never said that. Sadly, but I see a lot of people when you're putting them looking, you know, as a job developer, when I go out and help them look for a job, you know, they'll take any kind of job, but they don't want work. So what do you do? You just say, okay, have it your way. You know, you're just going to have to do with it. Well, in my way, you know, as a healer, as a person who teaches what I know, what I've experienced, I have decided that, first of all, in the 3D world, I've been out and about in there. Yes, I fall into it, I fall out of it, fall into it, fall out. But now, it's to a point to where I am smokeless, I'm alcohol-free, I'm drug-free, and every morning when I get up, I worship my father, my creator. I thank him for a wonderful night's sleep. I thank Mother Earth for allowing me to walk on this earth. And I ask her to continue to detoxify my body. And as you know, I'm wherever I go now, wherever I'm at, I'm barefooted. Unless I have to go to town or something like that. But most of the time, I am barefooted. And because I want to be grounded, connected to Mother Earth. 
And by doing that, my lifestyle has changed. I mean, I don't go get myself involved like in a country dance, rock and roll dance, bars or anything like that. And that's just me personally. I'm not saying that you all can't do that, but well, it is what it is for whomever. But me, myself, I had to redirect myself into out of that 3D world. I have not watched TV since, I'm going to say, since about a little before Memorial Day. You know, I don't choose to turn on TV. Now, I might watch a little news here and there, but it whatsoever pops up on your phone, on Yahoo, you know, you know, just to keep track of what's going on. I got people that call me and say, hey, do you know this what's going on? No, I don't. I don't. I don't want to get myself involved because if you look at the Hopi prophecy about the third handshake, they're telling you. One of the main things they're telling you is don't worry about what's going on. Pull yourself away from it. Get away from it. Learn how to survive, and you will survive as to what is going on. You know, for a while, we had all kinds of craziness going on in the world. And now, it's still going on craziness. Who are we to blame who? We're not judging, but, you know, conspiracy theorists are doing a good job keeping other people up to date on what really happened with the forest fires in Canada, to the train wrecks that we just went through, even to the balloons that come across. You know, what, what is really on their agenda? Don't try to figure it out. Develop your own agenda. Be who you are. Be who you want to be. Not in this 3D world. You know, I go out and I'm not afraid to talk to anybody. I talk to anybody, anywhere, wherever they are. I spark up a conversation about little things, but people going to know me and say, wow, that person ain't hard to talk to. I don't. I'm not. I talk to people at any level they want. I talk to kids. I mean, I might go around grocery shopping or See a little kid wearing a Spider-Man shirt? I go up to him and go, I got you. You don't say, if he looks at me, I go, I got you again. So then they get involved. You see them throwing their web at me. They go, I got you again. And when you get them, get them kids all excited. And their mother will look at you like, what are you doing? So I'm playing with the kid. We're playing Spider-Man. You know? So I, I like to really enjoy kids as they go around because they need, they need a little play for things, play for thoughts, you know, and I am a big kid, you know, that's okay. I don't mind being a big kid. You know, my grandma always told me, you're as young as you feel. And I feel like a young kid, you know, and even though I may be getting older, I'm still a young kid at heart. But beside the point, we need to pull away from the 3D world. Start thinking about survival. You see a lot of these people on YouTube or you know different channels talk about preparing yourself. Prepare yourself. Look what the economy is doing. Look what the world is coming to. Look what is happening. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. You know, back when I was growing up, we didn't have to worry about preparing ourselves because we were already prepared. You know, and now, yeah, corn price is going high. Wheat price is going high. Well, as that little 12-year-old walked up to his mama and said, why are we slaves? Slaves to what? Slaves to everything we need to buy when it's free. Think about that. The food that we eat can be free if we raise our own animals that we like to eat. Chickens, goats, sheep, cows, pigs. 
you know, we were growing those when I was growing up on a reservation. Yeah, we. my grandma had a bunch of pigs, you know. She had, she had chickens. She had turkey, you know. We raised our own vegetables, our own cornfield, apple orchard, you name it. We had it. Squash, cantaloupe, watermelon. It was all grown. We all harvested and we all enjoyed it. Yeah, it was hard work, but we did it anyway. We did it to her. We didn't complain. We just did it. And then when the harvest came, yeah, we only not harvest our field, but we also help others harvest their field. You know? And we may get a couple dozen ears of corn or not to help them. But at least you got paid. Back home, it used to be that if you labor for somebody, like I used to go out haul wood. When I get a load of wood, I bring it to the elderly people. I say, I'm bringing y'all some wood, take it out, stack it up for them and everything. They say, come on in and eat. I would go inside, I would eat, and that would be my payment. Thank you. I would say, thank you. And they say, thank you for the wood. And I said, okay. Well, the blessing is, is they gave, they gave me life by feeding me. So, you know, that was the payment that I was saying now. But nowadays, you tell a kid to go mow the lawn. $50. Wow. You know? You either got to come up with $50 or step up and do it yourself. You know? It's a shame that we have to go, go to that route where everything's money. Money is nothing. It has no value in my life. Yeah, I use it when I have it. But if I don't have it, I don't, I'm not worried about it. I got out. So get away from that. Your spiritual journey. I'm not harping at you. I'm not telling you what to do, but you got to, if you're going to be a spiritual leader or if you're going to be a leader of a following, you got to be by example. You know, that's why I tell people, I don't want to follow me because, you know, when you're following, leading a bunch of people, they look up to you. And that's a big responsibility when people look up to you. You have to act right. You have to live right. You have to play right. You know, and you got to show them all the things that you know for them to follow you. You know, how many of us are still doing what we were taught to do? And it's just a, not an eight to five operation. Monday through Friday, you know, get up the first thing in the morning, go outside, greet our Heavenly Father, Creator, the Son, feel the warmth, feel the love of Him that He offers you, offers you, offer you. pray to Him, you know, pray whatever it comes to your heart, not what is written or what is taught to be memorized. Pray from the heart. Whatever comes out of your heart, pray for it. Worship it with your heart. Not what is written, not how it's done, but from your heart. You know? And also, you know, pray for Mother Earth. Thank her. Thank you for bringing me here. Help me to share love in this world. That's one thing we are missing. Where is the word love in our newscast? Everything they show is negative. All oh, this thing happened here, this thing happened there. We're not going to do this. We're not going to, you know. 
it's sad that, you know, the people we elect, are they really doing the job that we put them in the office for? Think about it. You know? Or are they have or do they have their own agenda? You know, we I mean, man, just to think. Watching TV that last time, I counted, you know. 13 different special investigation on politicians on each other. This Republican did this. That Democrat did that. The Independent did this. This, this you know, congressman yelled out this. Now they want to ban him. This, you know, sen senator did this. Now they want to ban him. Call him for the special investigation. You know, calling the DOJ, Department of Justice, you know, calling the Supreme Court, you know, special prosecutors, call them in, investigate this, investigate. Nobody's getting the job done what's needed. You know, you drive down main streets on a lot of cities, anywhere, see a lot of people homeless. So, what is our elected official doing about that? Yeah, we'll give you money, we'll give you money. It's, it's more than just money. Because what do they do with the money? Yeah, they'll feed them, they'll give them blankets. But is that helping them? You know, one of the big agendas that they have right now is mental health issues. You know, are we really addressing those? All these things that come up, you know, I don't, I just claim victory over because I know my father will take care of it when the time is right. My mother will rise up and take care of it when the time is right. Because I understand alchemy symbol for salt a circle with a line in the middle. That line is you. Father created you. Mother gave you the breath of life. You're here for a reason. You're here because you love Mother Earth. You want to share Mother Earth's love, mercy, and peace. You want to share Father's love, mercy, and peace. You know, I think the Buddhists has their own job cut out for them. You listen to them or look at their model. Visualize world peace. I mean, is it hard to visualize that? You know, one person at a time. You know, yeah. In one city, we may have five people that are doing it, but I won't worry about that, five people. Because five people become 10 people. 10 becomes 20, 20 becomes 40, 40 becomes 80, 80 becomes 160, 160 becomes 320, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. You know, that's why white blood cells, the rainbow warriors, we may have 1% of them, but when they get enough trained and everything, they can go on and share the love on Mother Earth's people. They can go on, share the mercy and the peace of our Father. So, you know, when the time comes, we either go to the next dimension, receive our heavenly being, have heavenly reward. We don't know yet. I like to bring up some stuff that, you know, it's positive. You know, one of the things that I, I, I did see today is that we went into town and I saw this man. I just talked to him about his hat. He had an Air Force hat on. And he said, well, I'm sorry, I'm Navy. He says, wow. And I said, my, 
My daddy was Air Force. You know, my son's Army. You know, so this goes on and on. You got some family, you know, military background. So we start talking about it. And I told him, I said, you know, my dad gave 28 years. That's a long time in the military. So whether we serve our country, serve each other, serve yourself, understand before you become a server, you gotta know what you what your what talent you have. To be a server, you gotta learn how to deliver. And by saying deliver, you gotta learn how to deliver what? Well, it depends on what you are serving for. If you're serving the father, what are you going to deliver for him? Serving Mother Earth, what are you delivering for her? You know, if you're serving the universe, what are you de uh, delivering for them? Sky people, you know, the heavenly light, Mother Earth, you know, how are we doing this? You know, understand step by step. Before you jump into healing. Now that because when you jump into healing, you're dealing with the dark. And when you're dealing with the dark, how do you protect yourself? Remember the dark is transferring. According to alchemy, how do you know what you are doing is good? Well, From my standpoint, I study and I seek some of the best examples that I find is, first of all, Oha. When I first heard this statement, Oha, what is Poha? F O H A T. Look it up. The dictionary says, using universal energy and bringing it to earthly matter. And that's a definition of psychic surgery. But to be able to do that, you got to be able to raise your vibration, raise it so high, so strong, that you don't get hurt. You remove the dark because, again, Matthew chapter 10, Jesus said, freely I give you authority to heal the sick, raise the dead, and to remove all dark spirits. So, the last one, removing all dark spirits. That's what psychic surgery is all about. You're moving the dark spirit. You throw it out. Before you throw it out, you need to burn it up. Destroy it. Why? Because two things. One, you poke yourself, you get blood coming out, put it on that table. 100 years from now, scientists going to come or doctor or whatever going to come scrape that blood off bring it back down, and guess what? Knows your DNA composite, where he knows who you are and what you are. Second of all, so if you remove the blood and destroy it, you destroy the dark, boom, it's gone. It's destroyed. Whatever living being or organism, organization that was in there, it's more moved. Now, next thing is that, you know, we just can't be, you know, doing what we do every day. Manifestation. 
manifestation works when you put your whole body of your mind, body, and spirit into what's going on. And I got too many testimonies that I want to share with y'all, but time will tell, you know, that I can record them and send them to y'all. You know, also, you know, when we go into the spiritual realm of healing, you're more, you attract more dark than you do white light. They think that everybody left you and you're there to challenge them one at a time. Or be that David. Be that David that slew the Gal Goliath, the giant. Be that person that slew the devil. Now, he may not like that, but it's your choice. You know. So as we go along about what we need to get done, first of all, ask yourself, who are you? You know, I, I get frustrated because every time I look up and look out, I see one of my nieces and nephew walking down the street. No direction, nothing to do. They don't have the motivation to ask, what do I need to do today? Well, can't answer that question for them. They'll they come up to you and take whatever it is that they see out of the ordinary and say, here, do this. I need energy to do thy will. They get it, they go. And so when we go out today, I want you to realize that love needs to be spread out. I don't care if you're paying a dollar for the person who's ahead of you that don't have the dollar. is trying to request to bring take stuff out of her basket so she can pay for what she really needs, not what she really wants what she really needs. You know, I just, I just pray that one day we we'll visualize world peace. I will send the love of mercy and peace. I thank you. Now, Tomorrow, I'll be doing another YouTube video along with this one. I already sent out some messages about the time and date that we're going to meet. So, but if you continue to do what you're doing, don't worry, I'm not judging you. I'm just saying. Asking for protection for you. But that's okay. We all need protection. We all need safety. Whatever we do, let's continue to ask the blessings from our Father. I, I wouldn't overemphasize body, mind, body, and spirit, keeping it clean. 24 7, seven days a week. Not just a little bit at a time, but seven days a week, keep yourself clean. Now, here's what's coming up. I'm going to Michigan to do hands-on training 
on holistic energy healing. If you want to join me up there, get a hold of me. Then I'm going to come back. Then I'm going to go up to Pennsylvania, month of July. But first, before that, when I get back, I'm going straight to Louisiana. And I'm going to come back, and I'm going to go to Pennsylvania. On my way back, I'm going to stop by Missouri. You see, there's a place that one of our tribal members wants us to look at to see if it's a good place for a retreat. If it is, I'm on schedule another holistic energy healing, hands-on. Not no lectures. Y'all going to sit there and let me do holistic energy healings to y'all. As I do it, I'm going to explain to you exactly, step by step, what I'm doing, how I'm doing, everything. I'm just not going to do one modality. I'm going to do several. Use, teach you how to use herbal medicine. Teach you how to use your energy healing. And teach you how to use, you know, different types of modalities. And I think my teaching, my mentorship class is getting a lot, a lot of learning. And I'm going to break all these things down first for them because they're there for a reason. They're there to learn. And I start from the very beginning again. Mind, body, and spirit. The vibration. The source. Who is your source? And the waves. Which wave did you come in? And now, in June, I just sent you a video about, you know, cleansing and healing ceremony. Still open, you know, for the students. Give me the request. If you want me to add them, put in your family, I need names, X or email to me. And then, we we'll do a healing ceremony tomorrow, and I will go step by step explaining how my prayers are and why I pray that way. You have to make your own prayer. Make your own prayer that will work because this is yours. This is your ceremony, not mine, yours. But I can guide you to make it. Your way. I can tell you what every, every relic that you use mean and how, and how you put it down. Why does it have to do this? Why does it have to face this way? Why do you have to do it this way? Why do you do it? I'm going to answer a lot of whys. It might take a while, but I'm going to explain everything to you. Then, do a ceremony for all the students that are in that class for tomorrow. Again, this is the last time I'm going to say I'm taking on students. You want to take it? Get a hold of me. I'll work these out with you. You know, because the more you know, the easier it's going to get. So, if there's any topic you want me to talk about, email it to me. I will study up, ask my elders, continue, and we can all discuss it, everything. I am a good, I am in a good topic with some people. About Healing yourself. Healing yourself. Healing yourself from what? I guess from the past. Because if you're going to be a healer, 
You want to be 100% up there, not have anything hold you back. Because the dark will bring out all kinds of dirty laundry on you if you haven't forgiven yourself. But if you've forgiven yourself, you're not going to worry about what is thrown out at you. You're going to say, that happened. Yeah, I learned from it. And move forward. You're not going to let it take away your vibration to where you're, oh, that hurt. That really got me. Don't worry about it. It's like we always say. They're going to play tug of war with you. They go of the road. They go of the road. What are they going to do? Come and tie their rope around your wrist so you can fight with them? No, if they do that, untie it. Let it go. Let go of the past. As you notice, when we say our prayers, we pray this moment, this very second on forward. Now, we don't look back because it's already happened. We don't look forward to it because we're not guaranteed tomorrow. So, we forward each step. You know, thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Mother. You know, everything works for a reason. Everything. And as we come, as a teacher, you know, I don't want no following. You know, I do my best to stay positive to people. I don't judge. You know, people come up to me, I've had this kind of life. Okay, forget, forgive yourself, move forward. You know, I know sometimes it's hard for a lot of people, but on. Do what you got to do. Now, for a commercial. Yeah, y'all wonder, what does he have around his neck? Well, bear claw. Grizzly bear claw. Handmade by me. I'm selling him. If you're interested, get a hold of me. Messenger, whatever. You know. The bear claw. Special bear fetish. Zuni handmade bear fetish. Bear claw. It's about three inches. Yeah, turquoise, mother pearl, ishi, hanging, dangling. Yeah, if you're interested, get a hold of me. You know, only have four left. There's four that come across. You know, I'm also making fans. Out of red tall hawk feathers. You're like a special fan. Made especially for you. I will create one. And I may ask. Your family composition. I got two boys and one daughter. My wife. Or it's for the lady at the house. My husband. You know, and my children. Because there's a reason behind it. I make it for you. I make it to the comp composition of your family. You, your husband, and your kids. And I will remember, turquoise is male. Oral is female. And I will use red tail hawk feathers. I wrap it with buckskin. I wrap it with sinew. I put turquoise on it. You know, and I will put coral for female and turquoise for men, for boys, and I will bless it. And when I send it to you, I will make a video of it 
they send you the video of how I made it for you and let you receive it and use it. If you, got, if you need abalone shell with it, a little bit of sage, I will send a little bit of sage with you, but I'm not going to send you a lot. And again, Red Del Hawk, you know, fan. So if you would like one, get a hold of me. The people that receive one already, they're happy with their fans. They thank me for them. You know, and it's personalized for them. So if you're interested in a fan, get a hold of me. You know. And Veraclaw. I do have a small one, too. A necklace like this, small one. Now I have a eagle claw necklace, too. If you're interested in any of my necklaces, I got a silver beady turquoise necklace, earrings. Matter of fact, when I get off, I'll take pictures of them and I'll post them in the tribal alliance. What I talked about today, I just want to reiterate one paragraph. Let's be ready for what we are, who we are, and what we're here to do. Sharing love. Sharing the spirit of healing. Being a vessel to heal people through us, sharing the gift, forgiveness, peace, blessings, law, protection, healing, and cleansing, understanding your own self in the Holy Trinity that we live in. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, Feel free to go call me or get a hold of me. I do my best to answer for you. You all have a wonderful afternoon.